Good morning, students. Now we all know that Asia is the largest continent in the world. So it has got several different types of climatic and temperature zones. The different types of vegetation which Asia has are many. We have already learned about a few. Today we will be learning about the rest. So today we are going to focus on the cool temperate, the warm temperate vegetation along with its climate, tropical monsoon, equatorial, mediterranean and mountain vegetation. So we are going to learn the vegetation as well as the climatic zones of Asia and it is a continuation of the last module. So let us begin. Now in the eastern coastal region of Asia, south of the Taiga Belt, there is a region of cool temperate climate. Winters over here are cold and are accompanied by snowfall, while summers are longer than those of the taiga belt and is pretty warm. The annual rainfall ranges between 50 to 100 centimeters. And the rain occurs mostly during the summer. This region is a region which has got cool temperate forests. Now here the forests are both evergreen and deciduous variety. Which means that there are trees which never shed their leaves while the deciduous trees which are there, they shed their leaves at least once a year. Among the animals which are found over here, bears, foxes and wolves are common, but the rare Siberian tiger is the most magnificent. It is also known as the Amur tiger and is the largest living cat. Next we come to the warm temperate region. Now this warm temperate as the name suggests has a warm climate with warm wet summers and cool dry winters. This type of climate is also known as the temperate monsoon or the China type of climate. Here the annual rainfall can range between 50 to 100 centimeters. Rich variety of tree life is supported over here and the trees which are found over here in abundance are magnolia, camphor, oak and bamboo. The warm temperate region is densely populated. Therefore, much of its natural vegetation and life, wildlife has disappeared. The giant panda, which is a rare animal, is found in the bamboo forests of China. 
So here we can see a panda consuming its favorite, that is tender leaves of the bamboo tree. Southeastern Asia and most parts of the Indian subcontinent have a tropical monsoon climate. This is characterized by a cool dry winter and a hot dry summer. And a rainy season which is brought by the summer monsoon winds. The rainfall over here is moderate to high and it ranges from 50 to 200 centimeters annually. Most of the rainfall occurs within a few months of the year. The rainfall is mainly summer type, that means the rain comes after the summer season and it rains very heavily in areas which are on the windward side of the mountains and as one goes further interior of the Indian subcontinent, the rainfall begins to decrease. The natural vegetation varies according to the amount of rainfall. The trees which are found over here are mostly deciduous in nature because of a marked dry period. The areas of heavy rainfall have tropical monsoon forests which include trees like sal, teak, sandalwood, and other commercially important trees. Where there is a lack of rainfall, the forests give way to thorny bushes and shrubs. Mangroves are very common in the tidal and swampy coastal areas. While the mountain type of vegetation especially the areas in the Himalayas have rich mountainous type of vegetation which includes the coniferous forests. Much of the natural vegetation of the heavily populated tropical region has however been cleared for agriculture and human settlement. Therefore, though there is a lot of wildlife but a type of wildlife which dominates over here includes tigers, elephants, different types of monkeys, crocodiles, snakes, rhinoceros, etc. The Asiatic lion is now found only in the gir forests of India. In the south eastern part or the southernmost part of Asia, near the equator, the climate is hot and wet throughout the year. Here, the annual rainfall is to the tune of 300 centimeters. Thus, this region has rich tropical rainforest areas. So we can see 
on the screen how the forests are very thick very tall the trees are very tall with thick canopies the trees over here are mostly hardwood variety which includes rosewood mahogany ebony etc though these areas used to have a huge amount of natural vegetation but many places have been given way to plantation agriculture where monoculture is practiced or the growing of only one particular tree is practiced for example here we can see the rubber plants though it grows naturally but here we can see a lot of areas have been devoted to rubber plantation coffee grows very well over here so most of the sloping areas have been given way to the plantation of coffee here earlier might have been areas of rich natural vegetation they all must have been cleared off and have been given way to coffee growing elsewhere we find cacao plantation is very common from where we get chocolates the rich wildlife of these forests include many different types of reptiles birds elephants insects etc apes such as the orangutan and gibbons are also common however all these animals are now an endangered species parts of the southwestern asia along the mediterranean sea so this is the mediterranean sea and all these areas are parts of southwestern asia and these areas are having a mediterranean type of climate now this region along the mediterranean sea is characterized by bright sunshine with hot dry summers and cool wet winters so all these areas the coastal areas of syria lebanon israel parts of palestine jordan all these areas have a mediterranean type of climate where the summers are pretty hot but winters are very cool and wet the westerlies blow during the winters and because they are blowing over vast expanses of seas they bring a lot of rainfall during the winters in this coastal region the natural vegetation consists of evergreen shrubs and trees like oak cedar and olives so the mediterranean region is specially known for olives lastly we come to the mountainous region where the climate and vegetation changes according to the altitude in the himalayas for example the foothills are quite warm and here we mostly get deciduous trees such as teak and sal with increasing altitude 
the temperature decreases and the area is taken over by coniferous forests like pines and firs. Still higher up, there are bushes and meadows and grasses which give way to mosses and lichens further highland where the temperature is very low. Beyond that area, that is where the mosses and lichens end, the area comes under barren rocks. Here is the end of vegetative belts of the mountain and the snow line starts. So all these areas remain covered with snow and are consisting of rocks which are barren, that is deprived of any kind of vegetation. So students, we have learned the different kind of climatic and vegetation which Asia has right from the south to the north. I hope you have understood how the temperature and rainfall determine the vegetation of an area. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.